nice and neat, two them in. I'll just leave me two with magnetic bolt levels on the profile, so keep an eye on it. That's our steel tight, both ends, big ass steel that. <laughs> And it is the next day because the weather got too bad yesterday. It kept being on and off really fine rain, so everything was just getting soaked. And then as we pack up, get dry, dry up again. And when we try again, get wet again. One of the frustrating days, so we just we packed up a bit early. Went to um, Hodgins to hire out one of these in case we use the still saw. Keep every, keep uh, keep everybody happy. But um, yeah, so hopefully today should be a bit better. The, the, the weather has said it's going to be raining up until next week, so let's just hope that they're a bit wrong. Because um, we need to make some progress on this thing. But <laughs> that is what we got up to yesterday. We've got a few uh, courses up, so we're just going to carry on and get that finished. And uh, just a little side note quick as well, made a start trying to get this cat flap sorted, but um, we accidentally dug out a bit too low because uh, we forgot to consider these cats have to try and get through it and we went to damp course by mistake, so we just got to pick that up one more course. And we made a start fixing it up, but we ran out of mortar, so we're going to get that part put back in and then cut this accordingly. We're not going to do that just yet though, because that can wait. Probably until we've got a few more course of brick up so it's a bit stronger. For now, I'm gonna get back on this side and just blast it up as tall as we can. And then rinse and repeat over there, try and get some block work in today, hopefully. Let's see. Don't want to jinx anything, there's only wood. I found some wood. Where's the wood? There it is. Alright, so let's get a mix on. Let's do something, shall we? Looks like we know what we're doing. It's after break, got the mixer spinning. We were a bit organised this time, we got loaded out and got a mix in before break, so we're ready to get started. A uh, bit of an update, we're about five courses up from where we started, I think six on the other side, because we have to do a bit extra, but anyway. We're going to keep going at this until we can't reach any higher. Uh, I think we've got enough bricks, we'll, we'll see. 
Um, and I think, yeah, that's ready for jointing that. So I'll get the, the old jointer out, give that a tidy up, and then wait for Dad to finish his damn coffee. I'm waiting for you here, Dad, on the invisible watch. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so let's keep keep making hay while the sun shines, or whatever that saying is. Oh, no. Just another update here. We've got the tail wires in all the way across. Don't know if you can see them, but I'll uh, make sure that you can. All the way down. And here's the pack of them as evidence. So if you're in the middle of typing right now, where's the tail wires? You can delete that right now. And I'll take you over to here as well. And I'll also show you the screw ties are in too. Oh god, but yeah, it's all in, it's all tied together, so put your keyboards down, sit back and enjoy, just know that the tail wires are in, and you have peace of mind. Right, let's get some Brooklyn done. There we go, shortly before dinner. So, that's us ready for um, block work, which Alex is going to jump on. Which you're going to get those, fill those top joints in, that's where we're reaching way above our heads there. I had a bit of a hop going on at this side. And that's quite a reach, but um, nice, neat, toothing in. Few, uh, probably got a few more to go up there yet. Well, we have got a few more to go up there yet, but not till we've got something to stand on the scaffold and what have you. We'll be, um, I'll probably have a ladder this side to get these trestles that side to get that bit and the cavity. So yeah, he's, Alex is getting getting sorted on there, getting the DPC down, what have you? Aye. And 
it's starting to get a bit tidy. It doesn't look it, but the more wall you build, the more stuff you've got out of the garden. So that can all be brushed off now because that stack of bricks gone. That's been there since day one of the brickwork. I'm, re I'm all set up here, spot board's ready, profile's ready. We'll come back to the cat flap when this profile brackets out of the way. And then just a quick one on the profile. I'll just leave me two magnetic bolt levels on the profile, so keep an eye on it. And when it starts pulling you just accordingly, that's when you drop this in. I think it's called a line stabiliser, so when you when you get up to about six or seven and um, the profile starts to pull over, which everybody does, you just clip that onto the wall. Clip that on and then tighten the screws up to the brickwork and that's solid. More solid than all the um, all the clamps and everything up here and the pieces of 4B1 and 3B2 and clamps and well that's it. Everything's self-contained on the blakes. A lot less stuff to carry around, a lot less stuff to worry about, a lot less stuff to lose. And there you go. Alex just in the shade now. So it, while he gets himself set up there, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cracking on this side, get a corner block on that end, and off we go. There we go, we'll get off for some dinner now. I just threw those four on there. Yep, threw those on there. Got a mix in, ready for after lunch. Alex is cracking on with the block work in there. It's coming on nicely. And then plan is to try and get the trestles up on that today. After all the jointing, just ready for sponge down now. And yes, it's windy.
hello. Yeah, not nice is it, being the puppet. But uh, unfortunately, the GoPro died just as I was finishing off, but that side's up to trestle height now. I, I keep going to the lintel height, not yet. A few more for that, but that side's ready for scaffold. And Dad has been very busy setting up his own little makeshift scaffold to get all this bit up. But... The reason because it's seven to damp. Yeah, seven to damp. Well, you, well is here, and I'll just... There you go. Right up to uh, about six foot, that. So, yeah, I'll, yeah, they're a bloody nice match, I can tell you that. And they're really nice to set as well because if you can probably tell, they're just so square, which like, well, rectangular, which I know sounds weird, but there's so many bricks that just have. Yeah. The, the, these, they're closer to engineering brick as well, with the way they are and the way they don't take water. There you go. There's like a. Uh, Ibstock Tradesman Light. Ibstock Tradesman Light. Ibstock Tradesman Light. Pretty beautiful brick. And as you can tell, it de definitely looks different to it this morning. It looks like we've done something now. And we've put a big dint in all of the uh, bricks and blocks, which is always nice to see them go. So, that's more or less all the blocks there, isn't it? Uh, there's not 20 Yeah, well, so practically all of them are here then. Yeah. So, made, make a good, made a good dint in it today, we'll come back tomorrow. Let's get the bottle back and get home. Yeah. Let's get ourselves home, ready for tomorrow, where we can just try and get this side up to a uh, scaffold height. And uh, get the scaffold set up there, and just knock a, knock a bit out. Tomorrow is in and then it's got Sunday to go off the Robbie and Robbie are available on Monday to come around and steal the thing. Happy days. That's the first time it's for me. It's a pretty uh, big, big gap, isn't it? So yeah, so enough babbling. Let's uh, catch you tomorrow. Right, and it's tomorrow. Hello. Friends, been here, friends here to greet me again. But obviously today, our plan is going to be to get the scaffold set up there. We've got some. We brought the extra scaffold as well to get ready for these steels on Monday, and we are going to get that side up to lintel height. That's the priority there. Get like get all that block work and all that done, and then I think I'll probably jump on that side while Dad jumps on this side. So he'll do the block work here and the brick work. Get that up, and I'll get the the block work and the rest of the brickwork up and my friend's gonna eat my gloves by the looks of it <laughs> um but yeah so not really much else to say but let's get on to it
mate, just a little quick update here. This was bloody fiddly, but that here is the opening we're gonna have for this cat flap. So we've just we left out the gap here for the blocks, and then we've cut out a gap in this block. And once we get the everything figured out, we're gonna patch this bit up here just so we can try and get this higher than the skirting boards when they go in. So that's that. Now, I know it looks a bit all over the place, but now that we've gone past that, the bond can go back to normal now. So we had to mess around with stuff around and do unideal things, but that's the best way that that could have worked. Cause obviously we had to have a proper thing for that to sit on the way that's worked out. This is how it is, so. Next time, we're going to build it solid and we'll cut out the reciprocating saw. Yeah. Because that'll go straight through fiber lights. Save a lot of hassle. Yeah, but. Gonna right headache that cat. But like I said, now that we're past it, I can get back to the bond I had in that corner, so. We'll get you set back up. Right. Probably getting on for about half eleven now. Oh my god, twelve o'clock. Um, well, that was a shock of finding that out. Yeah, Alex is on that corner again still. Yeah, Alex is on this corner. Now he's got over the awkward bit. You can get cracking on that now. I've got to try and get these up, at least the fronts, to lintel height. I've just been on the, um, the stilly with the water suppression. Bought that yesterday. Because we were threatened with dividing my health by the neighbours. So this is what happens when you use water suppression. The freaking mess. And when you're trying to work on the wall, you're working underneath. That's what just covered it was best we could and hosed it down. But uh, yeah, it's all done now. All the cuts are out for the toothers. So um, I'm gonna get up there now, knock all them out. We'll get this side loaded out and get stuck into this after dinner. So um, yeah. Yeah, well um, I'll stick you on time. That's for a bit while I'm not leaving. Right, missed it again. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, it actually took longer to do the cuts than to tap them out. So once you go in with the stilly from the side and the front, you, you just tap them and they fall out. Luckily, no breakages. Took the cavity out as well. Um, bit of a mess down there, we'll sort that out. So now we're all ready. The profile on that corner, string line across to that corner because I went up a bit higher with that side and get this levelled up to lintel height and the priority is brickwork up to lintel height and at least the block work on that front corner and then that lintel height again I mean Alex might be able to reach eight on that today which will be handy and we haven't got much to do this afternoon then we've got about 140 to put on this side now it's probably dinner time now, are you ready for dinner because I'm not no, right we'll work on a bit then yeah we had a bit, um, we had a fry up Saturday didn't we I had a sausage butty, Alex had a bacon butty, and I got a, a nice latte. So a bit full after that. So, right. It's tough to get this loaded because the trestles are up quite high. But they're up quite high, meaning we can reach the top of the pike, so we don't have to move it. So, um, yeah, that, that pauses me thinking. I might just take those bricks off and drop the scaffold back down again because uh, it's got to be moved on Monday to set up for the steels. Okay, so get back to you in a bit.
and there we go. That's our steel tight. Both ends, big ass steel that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's got the, it's got all day tomorrow to go off now, which we need because it's a big old width, width that. And last three beds are big because I don't know what's going on with this house, but they're all over the place. So the last three have had to catch up. Up to the, up to there, we we checked with the laser level, and the last we just went bonkers. So it's all levelled up now, and then all we've got left then is a bit of brickwork here, tiny bit here, and that pike. And there you have it, I'll show you the other side. Now, Dad cleverly just raked that corner back because if we were doing that, we'd, we'd still be here till seven o'clock, so we, uh, yeah, we wouldn't have enough water or time, so that's good, is it? No. Go. Medieval torture devices, I'll leave it on, just push it back up. Anyway, so that's got us ready for finished height, and now we can just simply get a line up and run them in. And obviously, next time you see us, it'll be the next video where we're getting the steels in. So for now though, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up for us because that's greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when we upload a video. Again, we greatly appreciate you doing that. Uh, this has been Brickling with Steve and Alex and see you when these steels are up.